The Dow erased losses for the week after some positive macro headlines. Now, Sarge, we saw some relatively good GDP numbers as well as some better than expected pending home sales data today. How did that affect the sector, uh, sectors across the broader market today? Well, you know, the, the sectors were all about the same. There was really not a, a standout sector unless you look at the small caps as a sector. The small caps were up over a percent, and that's kind of indicative of a risk on move. All right, we're seeing a little bit of a risk on it. I think you see gold up also. And I think that has not so much to do with what's going on in Washington, obviously. I mean, uh, Representative Von Van Hollen and, uh, and Speaker Boehner both tried once again today to knock the markets down. And the markets did sell off while and after they were speaking. But the markets overcame this, not only on the headline macro, but there's an underlying optimism right now that Germany will get this Greek package through. And that later in the month, we will see some kind, people are starting to talk like this, that we will see some kind of package deal get through Congress that will make the fiscal cliff a known quantity at least. Not so much a good, a nice outcome, but at least a known quantity that individuals and corporations can deal with. So we're starting to see maybe people tiptoeing into a risk on movement, which is kind of what we've been speaking here all along. We've been, we've been expecting this for some time, and maybe today is the first leg in it. We'll, only time will tell. So people are saying that now we're more likely to see a fiscal slope rather than a fiscal cliff that we're going to go over? Well, there really is a fiscal slope. It's really not a cliff at all. That's exactly 100% correct. Uh, every little aspect of what's considered the fiscal cliff, if, it, if the full impact of the cliff was to, was to hit, it would take like nine months for every little piece to hit and for us to feel something in every area that would be impacted. So, yes, it's a, if nothing was solved, if it was just okay, this is the law, it would take nine months for everybody in every part of the economy that was to be impacted to feel some impact. So yes, it's a slope, but it's, I'm starting to feel that we're not going to get there. So everyone will still have some kind of impact. Uh, defense is certainly gonna get cut. You know, social security is still something they're talking about. Middle class income tax is something they're talking about. Uh, of, of course, the upper class will be hit. So there are gonna be victims, but where the package compromises and where it doesn't, we'll find out later in the month, I'm sure. So are you still anticipating a traditional year-end rally at this point? I think it's very possible, if not likely. I, it may get prolonged into the first quarter because it's going to be a little awkward this year given that we do have this cliff and we do have so many things going on in Europe. I, I just don't, I'm not comfortable putting a date on it, but I feel like there's going to be kind of a sloppy rally. You're going to have risk off days where you think, oh, what am I doing? So it's, you're going to need a little bit of guts, and you're going to have to play both sides. Maybe, like we like to say, you bunt for a single, and maybe you hit a double. Don't go for that extra base when you're running the bases. Don't try to hit a home run. I think you're going to have to be careful. Great. And uh, what would you say are the key macro drivers to be watching out for tomorrow? You know, tomorrow we got personal income and consumer spending. That's probably the biggest thing. We also have the Chicago PMI. I don't know how much those things will move the market given the bigger things that are out there right now. But I think going into next week, you're going to have the ISM and the PMI numbers early in the week. And late in the week, you got the whole employment situation all over again. So those will be the big things. As for tomorrow, you do have the last day of the month. So that might be a bigger factor than, than the macro data.